massive tree came down in Lynn, and it also took power lines with it. The tree ultimately landed on several parked cars on Gardner Street. Now, Eric mentioned it a moment ago. In Provincetown, there was a wind gust that hit 90 miles an hour, powerful enough to push these big boats right up onto the sand. And the storm was not forgiving here in Boston either. It caused damage to docks and boats along the harbor and much more. WBZ's Beth Germano is live for us in Boston tonight with the story there. Beth? Well, it's quite a mess in this Dorchester neighborhood is a familiar scene. Crews working to repair damaged utility poles when a large tree came crashing down, taking power lines with it and snapping those poles in half. And this didn't happen overnight. This happened at 10 o'clock this morning when those winds were still whipping, causing damage in and around the city. A big wind gust, and then I heard a loud crack. And when Hal Schaefer came outside his Dorchester home to take a look, this was the damage. A massive old oak tree had come crashing down, coming to a rest on his car and taking utility poles with it. When this came down, it pulled two more poles down the way. So there's power out all the way along here. And power will take some time to restore. His car buried beneath the branches, but probably salvageable. That's not the story on Boston's waterfront, where high winds and waves heavily damaged docks and boathouses. One dock hoisted up on its side by the powerful winds. And boat after boat with damaged engines, the force of the storm witnessed by nearby Actually, resident there, Scott. There. The stern of the boats were uh, bashing up against this granite wall here, and so you had grinding sounds and the engine covers popping off. And on Carson Beach in South Boston, a sight not often seen. Two sailboats breaking from their moorings and ditching on the beach. They're very big boats to get, to get tossed up on the sea like little toy boats. You know, it's amazing. In the Fenway neighborhood, another car buried by a fallen tree on a day when the owner didn't put it in a nearby garage. And the winds were powerful enough to knock down this chimney in Charlestown between two brownstones, bricks strewn on the sidewalk below, and heavily damaging some cars in their path with a sound neighbors won't forget. You just heard loud noises. You know, you couldn't tell if it was the trees. I didn't think it was the chimney. And power outages in Boston may not be as high as other communities, but there is still plenty of scattered cleanup to contend with. And in this neighborhood, they tell us it's going to take some time to repair these poles and get the power back on. Reporting live from Dorchester, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.